Now to a subject that is the single largest cause of psychological stress in younger adults, acne. With more young people suffering from acne now, what are the answers? Dr Francis Pitsilis, researcher and cosmetic medicine doctor, is here to explain what can be done to help with this. Good morning, Francis. Good morning, Mel. Now tell me, what can we do to help acne? It's something that no young person wants to get. No, it makes a lot of young people miserable. And what a lot of people don't realise is that apart from what you can get from your family doctor and the specialist, it's really important to pay attention to your diet and in particular to get rid of starch and sugar because young people are more likely to get inflamed in their skin when they have sugar and starch. Really? Because that inflames your insides as well, doesn't it? Well, it sort of does through your gut flora, but then in young people it comes out in the skin. That's interesting. Yeah. I wonder why that's with young people and not with older people. Well. I know, I agree with you. I mean, with older people, they can actually get redness and a whole lot of other symptoms as well from the wrong food. So cut out the sugar and the starch first yes. up and then see what happens with the acne. Absolutely. What sort of starchy foods do you think we were talking about? Um, any baking, bread, cakes, I'm sorry everyone, but you know, you've really got to do that. And yep. you know, you'll find those people watching is that you'll have a lot more energy mm. Um, you'll, you'll feel better and your skin will clear there up. There are lots of dis different options. So what yes. about skin care itself? Now in terms of skin care, it's important not to use anything greasy. You can use a soap substitute and you can buy from the chemist products that can unblock your pores like scrubs or benzoyl peroxide. But check with your doctor about the benzoyl peroxide. Okay. What about natural therapies? Can you sort of add those into help? Yes, it's a really good idea because vitamin C and zinc are very good for the skin. And very often it's a good idea to add a multivitamin to, da to that and some probiotics. Now you could always ask your doctor to test you for iron, vitamin D and thyroid. Okay, things that are worth thinking mm. about. So what cosmetic clinic treatments could you add to something like this? There's a simple treatment which is the blue light treatment which kills the propionibacterium acne in your skin. So what's involved with that? Well you just lie under a blue light. It's that really sounds easy. simple. Yeah, that, so that's easy and simple. Um, you can have intense pulsed light, a lot of clinics have got that. But if you've got a tan or if you don't like the pain or uh, if you've got dark skin you can't have that. So there's another treatment called uh, gentle laser gen genesis laser genesis which is a very gentle laser that conditions your skin and is very successful. Laser sounds painful, not painful? It's not painful, it's not a burning laser, it's a different wavelength, it's not well known but if you google laser genesis you'll find a clinic with one. Okay, mm. what, ha what if you've got acne and you're trying all of these things and just it's just not budging, it's just there to stay, what can you do? Well if you've done all of that um, I think you have to be suspicious that if it's not your thyroid it could be something thing with your hormones and I think even in young people women um, you can have polycystic ovarian syndrome and that's something that you, your GP can sort out okay. or a specialist like a gynecologist or an endocrinologist okay so if it still stays around and nothing's getting rid of it yep. go and get some real checking done on it absolutely okay hormones you're gonna love the hormones well thank you so much that was fascinating as always great advice well, thank you for coming in, Dr. Francis Pitsilis. If you want more information, go to skinfresh.co.nz.